Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. You're hearing a lot about software-defined storage. IT professionals are being inundated with some of the different options that are available to them. And it makes sense to, for us to kind of sift through all these different options and give you some ideas on what you can really do with software-defined storage. Joining me in the conversation today to talk about that is uh, Jason Brown. He's with EMC. Jason, what do you do for EMC? Well, I work at EMC Scale.io. I'm a principal product marketing manager for Scale.io. Well, Scale.io, of course, is your guy's soft, uh, software-defined storage solution. Uh, what have you got going up here on the whiteboard? Yeah, well, so we're talking about the journey to software-defined storage with mm -hmm. EMC Scale.io. Now, Scale.io okay. is a block storage platform, so keep that in mind. Okay. So what we're talking about on this journey is the journey from dot now to dot next. Okay. Dot now today is your traditional SAN architecture. Okay. Where you've got three layers, your server layer, where your application's typically running, uh -huh. your fiber channel or iSCSI network, and then your SAN, your arrays. Right, sure. And certainly these have been very powerful machines for the past many, well, many years, 10, 20 years, right? Right. And they've had a lot of benefits, but there's some challenges as well, you know, mm -hmm. you know expensive, TCO can be high, a lot of people to manage them. Right. Scalability can become cumbersome, especially if you max out those RAID controllers. So a, lot, a lot of things with that. A lot of flexibility uh, as well as you grow too, right? Yeah, exactly, right? So with Scale.io, what we're trying to do is take this dot .now architecture and move to what we call dot .next. Okay. And there's really two pieces to that. The first piece is called SAN.next. Okay. Where a customer who says, I don't want to buy an array anymore. I want to use these commodity white box servers that I use to be my application as well as my storage layer. Okay. So what we can do with Scale.io is install the Scale.io software on these white box servers, as okay. many as you want. What we can do is we can deploy it in two different ways. The first one, this SAN.next one, is where we still keep the server or application layer separate from the storage layer. Okay, so I have a dedicated storage tier here. Exactly, right? Okay. Because a lot of organizations today, especially enterprises, have this operational model where there's a server team, sure. a network team, and a storage team. They don't want to disrupt that. Okay. So what they would like to do instead is keep that same operational model but change the actual technology. Okay. With Scale.io, we can install the Scale.io software on these servers to create a uh, a application layer and then a storage layer, compute and a storage layer, all over Ethernet. So let me ask you a question. So these boxes right here, are they uh, still a traditional SAN or are these servers with These uh, are servers. So these are the same exact okay. machines as these guys right here. Okay. And I'm just putting either flash drives or hard drives in there? Yeah. Flash drives, hard drives, uh, SSDs, whatever it may be. Yep. Okay. So this is what we call the, the two-layer approach or a SANDON next approach. Okay. So disruptive technologically, but not disruptive organizationally. Okay. Well, that's probably good. That gives me kind of the a chance to kind of work my way into the process, right? Exactly. A lot of enterprises love this. Yeah. Makes sense. Then when you talk to service providers, they want to minimize their costs and maximize their TCO as much as possible. So right. they're going what we call the hyper-converged route. I'm sure okay. you've heard of that buzzword oh, yeah. out there yeah. in the industry, right? So what's great about Scale.io is you could deploy Scale.io in this two-layer approach or in a hyper-converged approach. Okay. Where now you're actually using these servers as compute and storage together. So before okay. you had a compute layer and a storage layer right. with the application separate. Here you're running the application on the same exact servers that you're using for storage as well. Gotcha. All over Ethernet. All right, let me show you, throw you a trick question then. Can I transition easily from this to this, or do I have to start all over? It's even better. You oh, can okay. actually have servers that are in this hyperconverged mode, or as storage, or as compute only, all in the same scale IO cluster. Huh. All so right. you so can no mix more, and match no these all together. No more questions for you then, because that, <laughs> that was too good of an answer. So I can mix them between the two exactly, situations. Right? So okay. you don't need to just choose one or the other. Scale okay. IO is flexible, where you can actually mix this deployment model together in a single scale I.O. system. Okay. So what I like about this is you've got a really nice uh, crawl, walk, run approach exactly. to this uh, infrastructure. I don't have to start all over and, and throw away all my procedures that I have in place, right? Exactly, right? So what are some of the use cases for this? Great, so it's block storage. Okay. So certainly the, the first and foremost is traditional enterprise applications. Okay. Oracle, SAP HANA, Microsoft, SQL Exchange. You know, this is a, a very performant, very scalable system. Okay. And so therefore, for those types of applications that need those things, Scalio is great for that. You know, certainly you need to provide the, f the flash or the SSDs inside these servers because mm -hmm. Scalio will take what you give it. You're going to want 10 gig or above for your network, okay. but it can, it can really perform to the level for those applications. Okay. Next is some of the platform three applications we're calling, right? Okay, like NoSQL. Exactly, like NoSQL, okay. Mongo, Cassandra, and Analytics as well for Splunk. Okay. So because this is software defined, you know, we're able to go into that next generation application use case with, with, with that. 
Okay. Now, can I, same question, can I mix that same mode? Can I start with the sort of the platform one, two type of applications and move into oh, three? Oh, exactly. You could okay. do however you want. Okay. You could have, you know, a SQL application here. You could have an Exchange server here. You could have a Splunk server here, all in the same environment. Now, Scale.io isn't, it's not siloed where you need to have one application for one Scale.io system. You gotcha. can mix and match throughout there. Okay, good. Uh, the final use case is really infrastructure as a service, right? A lot of service providers love Scale.io because they can deploy a very efficient, very flexible and scalable architecture for block-based use cases. So okay. we, it's also sold to a lot of service providers, not only for public cloud, but then enterprises as well for private cloud. So it fits both of those models as well. So, uh, so a managed service provider might use this for their own um, storage infrastructure that then they would resell essentially to subscribers or things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Or uh, an enterprise trying to establish their own private cloud. Yes, absolutely. Makes absolutely. a lot of sense. Absolutely. All right, so uh, if, if people want to give this a shot, you, all, you guys also have kind of a really cool way for them to try it too, right? Well, we do, right? So, you know, it's, it's software. Okay. And so, first and foremost, there's three different ways you can actually use it as well. So there's a software model, right, where you just buy software and install okay. Scale.io on your servers in your environment. Okay, so sort of bring your own server. Right. Okay. At EMC World 2015, we announced the VCE VX rack, which okay. would be a turnkey rack okay. that you would stand up and just turn on and go. Okay. So that's really the, the, the far end of the spectrum. Right. right. There's no flexibility. There's no customization. Right. You're, you know, there. Right. Then we have actually the mid-ground called the Scale.io node, which we just announced, which is kind of the, the part where EMC will provide software and hardware. So you have one vendor from a purchasing and support perspective, but then the customer still has the flexibility in determining what OS or hypervisor gotcha. or deployment model they want to choose for their Scale.io system. So they basically install the software on that hardware, but you're delivering both components to Exactly. Okay. You know, and customers love that because it just simplifies the whole, you know, from purchase to support process. Okay, great. Now, like you said before, it sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah. And so we want customers to play around with it. We don't want them to wait for a POC and all those types of things. Right. So you can actually go to emc.com slash Scale.io and download what we call the free and frictionless version of Scale.io today. Okay. That's a non-production version of Scale.io. There's no support with it. Okay. But there's no feature restrictions. There's no capacity limits. There's no time restraints. Okay. So customers, if you if they had some you know x86 white box servers lying around and they want to see what Scale.io is all about, they could go download it today from the website and check it out. And there's no so there's no capacity limits or anything, so they can push it as far as they need it to. Yeah, they can. And then I guess when you're ready to roll in production, they contact you to get support. Exactly. Okay, great. Well, Jason, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Okay. So there you have it. There's a great option for software-defined storage, especially in the block use case. What I like about it is you can transition from your legacy current environment, which most of the viewers of this video are going to have, into sort of these next-generation infrastructures in a very non-disruptive fashion. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today.